Hey, how's it going guys? This is my third video of my video series and today we're going to talk about something that's important to all of us no matter where we're at in life because we've all done it. It's all subconscious. We don't even know what's going to come out of our mouths and it just does and it's complaining. So we're going to learn how to combat that today. So we've all been there before. Either you go up to your coworker or they come up to you and you say, hey man, how's it going today? And the reply always is, oh my god, terrible. I didn't get any sleep last night. My daughter's been sick. She was coughing all night. When I finally did get some rest, I swear my alarm clock went off like 10 minutes afterwards. I hit traffic the whole way here. And when I finally got out of traffic, I swear I hit every single red light after that. But I'm making it, man. Another day in paradise, right? You know? That is counterintuitive. First of all, nobody wants to hear you complaining. And second of all, when you complain, the other person is just glad that it's you and not them. Sounds bad to say it, but it's true. So, what do you need to do to combat all of that? Well, we have a really important weapon that's really useful and it works. What's this weapon that we use? Gratitude. If you're grateful for something, how can you complain about it? So what you're gonna do, it's gonna start the night before, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna get in bed and you're gonna say, tomorrow, I'm gonna have an amazing day. Boom, put it out there, it's going to happen. And as Zig Ziglar says, don't set your alarm clock, set your opportunity clock. Because when it goes off in the morning, you're not getting up to an alarm to go to work, you're getting up to an opportunity to make money, to see people that you enjoy, to get out in this world and enjoy things that you are grateful for, because you've got a lot of them to be grateful for. So your opportunity clock goes off in the morning, first thing you do is you say, I am going to have an amazing day. Boom. You said it last night and now you said it this morning. Opportunity clock goes off and you're out ready to do the day. No complaining. So you're going to sit down at your table. I want you to take a list, a piece of paper and a pen. I typically tell people to do uh, like 10 things on the list that you're grateful for, but really in reality, it's better for you to have three things that you're extremely grateful for than 10 things that you kind of rush through because I know that it takes time and uh, we all do have busy mornings and I understand that. So let's just say three things, right? And start your sentence out with, I am so grateful for, and then finish the sentence. And at the end of the sentence, write, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then come back to the beginning. As soon as you do the first one, don't go on to the second one. Just go back to the first one and reread it out loud. So I am so happy and grateful for my car. It's dependable, it has low miles, it gets me to where I need to go. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Read that out and as you read it, really try to feel it like deep in your bones at how grateful you are for it. You know, and then go on to number two, your family. Number three, your apartment or your house or whatever it is, you know. And um, eventually you're, you're gonna get to things that you're feeling grateful for that uh, aren't these big items in our lives, you know, like the house and the cars and such. I mean, you can be grateful for the table that you're sitting at and you might have different reasons and, and those reasons are great reminders to us, right? So for instance, if you're sitting at your table writing this gratitude list and you remember, oh man, this table, I was looking for a table just like this for a long time and I found it on Craigslist like, you know, a couple hundred dollars cheaper than I was expecting it to be and it fits perfectly in my kitchen. That's a great thing to be grateful for. I am so grateful for this table and state all of that and say thank you, thank you, thank you. And then take a second, repeat it, and feel that gratitude. When you do that, that's going to change the trajectory of your whole entire day so that when you get to work and somebody says, hey, how are you doing, man? You're going to be like, man, I'm great. I'm doing amazing. It's a good day. You're going to feel that just from the beginning, and that's how you want to start your day off, right? So another thing that I like to do or tell, or tell my patients and ask people to do is pick a word. Pick a word of the day and, and see how many times that you can put it in into your day. So for instance, terrific, amazing, phenomenal, spectacular, all of these words are great words. So if somebody asks you, how are you doing today? And you've already got your word chosen for the day, spectacular. Somebody says, hey man, how are you doing today? Spectacular. Doesn't get any better than this, you know? But don't say it with snark and sarcasm. Really mean it because it is a good day and you've got a lot to be grateful for. So then now you're at work and you're tempted to complain about your boss or your coworker or you know whatever it is that, that's going to you know, cause you to complain throughout the day. Be grateful. Change it around with gratitude at the time. You don't have to make a list at that time, but maybe say to yourself, you know what? 
I am happy I have this job. I really love what I do. I really do. You know, I hey, tomorrow's payday Friday. I am very happy for my paycheck. They pay me well here. I enjoy this. Change it around with gratitude. Don't let a bad thing come out of your mouth. If something's not going to help you or help somebody else, don't say it. Hold it in. And if you keep doing that repetitively enough, it's like an exercise. You keep doing it enough, it'll get lots easier. You won't even have to try to fight it with gratitude. Gratitude will just be the first thing that spills out of your mouth. So when somebody asks you if you're having a great day, you're just going to be happy to be there and truly mean it. So, all right, guys, hope this helps. Um, I'll catch you next time, okay? Thanks.